Kara Crash here. I've had several people ask me about this battery on my video of the DX6 and having trouble charging it. So I thought we'd run through charging it. Just get it unhooked there. Show you the web page for the battery they're out of stock at this time I'm sure they'll get it back in stock okay I hope you can see that anyway we'll go into our charger here and you want to go ahead and do a lipo charge, not a balance, because it has no balance tab. It's a straight charge. It has a uh, voltage cutoff and a voltage protection circuit in it. So there has been times that I've went to charge this battery, and it's kicked it out pretty quickly. The website says you can charge it at 1C, which at a 4,000 milliohm pack, that'd be 4 amps. But I've never had much success of giving it more than two and I would think it would be better for it anyway. So anyway, let's go into our charger here and we're just going to go ahead and give it an amp. Um, if it is kicking out on you, go ahead and jump down to an amp, you know, and then maybe you can charge it for 10 minutes or so and then kick the two amp. It's just every charger is probably a little bit different and will react to the built-in protection that this battery has. So we're going to drop down to a 2S. Get it plugged in here. Hold down your start button. verifies that it's a 2S. Hit start again. And it's putting in an amp. It's at 7.61 volts. And we'll just let that charge. And like I said, you can bump it up to 2 amps. I, that's what I usually charge it at. Now, if you have a DX9, we're going to go through what you do with it because you can use the internal charging to charge it. So you want to uh, hold both buttons down at once. Oops, no, wrong one. Volume 50. click on your roller and go to system setup verify yes and go clear to the bottom to system settings and scroll down to here and you can change it to lipo lion and NICAD or NIHM or MH, the new NICADs basically. And then you can set your voltage, which I have mine set at 6.4, is where I like it. And then it will go ahead and set off a warning that your battery is low. But anyway, make sure you set this to LiPo. just back on out. And you're set to go. And it'll give you your battery voltage right here. And I'll just show you we have a that pack in there. And I believe it will fit the DX7 also.
and with the internal charger it usually I just plug it in and let it sit overnight and because it's a slow charge but like I said I guess it would be better for the batteries anyway if you have any other questions be sure to ask and make sure you hit that subscribe button just one click away help me out care crash out